Good evening, William. How are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, William? How was your day? Tell me. That's perfect, my day, teacher. Uh, oh, you, you are cold? The night frozen. <laughs> No, okay, listen, listen. The night is freezing. Freezing. The night is freezing. Uh, a lot of rain. Raining. Yeah, it's raining a lot. In my case, I like it. I like it when the weather is like this. I like it. Weather is? Yes. I like it. Me too, teacher. Bag uh, a lot of uh, freezing. <laughs> One accident, teacher. Oh, really? One accident in Carretera Road? Yes. One accident in, in Road in the world is Oh, really? For, for, for the weather. Due to the weather. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yes. Uh, the very dangerous uh, this uh, hole. Yes, it is. It is. It has always been. Siempre lo sido. Yes. It has always been pretty dangerous. But, you know, we got to be careful when we are in the street. Richard, this weather is, uh, is perfect. Uh, drink coffee and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a cup of coffee is always good. Uh, delicious. Delicious one bright. Yeah. Yeah, and right now we what? gotta be, we How gotta be say careful. That? Repeat, please. How do you say mojado? Wet. Wet, I tell from work now. Yeah, well, everybody's like this. I mean, everywhere is like this. Right now it's a little bit difficult. This thing with the weather is not simple. Uh, second day uh, of weekend, uh, I work. But we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We gotta take care in the street, not going out if it's not necessary. And let's hope everything goes okay. Uh, always, always, always has to be careful. In, yeah, we in, need to in, always in, be careful. This woman. Yes, yes. By the way, let me just text your classmates that it's time. Because I just see a few. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's more people connecting. Well, thank you very much, uh, William. And by the way, tell me, what what yes. is the plan for tomorrow? Me? Yeah. Uh, in the morning, I said, what is it? Uh, to at, at 12 p.m. Okay, from eight to twelve. It's in going the, to be a normal in day. the afternoon, uh, to rest. Yeah, it's very important to rest and be careful. Remember, it's raining. Thank you very much, William, and welcome to the class. Thanks. Hey, Walter, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. And uh, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you, mister? Everything fine? 
Ah, yes, very good fight. Yes. Uh, it's Friday, teacher. Oh, yeah, it's a Friday. And tell me, yes. was there any problem in the street due to the weather? Repeat, teacher, please. Was there any problem in the street due to the weather? ¿Qué tal la calle por lo del clima? Oh, my God. Uh, um... Oh my car. Uh, yes. How do you say it's tabarrinado? Oh, broke down. Ah, okay. Oh my car. And broke down. Broke down. Ouch. Broke down. Yeah. Broke down. Yes. Uh, broke down. Pero hoy me lo entregaron. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, Oh, me tocó mojarme. <laughs> oh, really? Let's see, just give me a second. Let's see. Okay. I'm probably having problems with connection. Yeah, really? You got wet? Yes. Okay, yes. look at the look at the chat. I'm going to take something for you. Okay, thank you. You say it like this. Okay, I got wet because of the rain. Yes, exactly. I got wet because of the rain. Yes, it's, uh, yes. And you see it in, in <laughs> transporte público. <laughs> yeah, public transportation. Yeah, that happens once in a while. I mean, After the problem. In my case, uh, it does not matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't me neither, matter. actually. And tomorrow, I'm uh, going to work. Okay, but you got your car. That's good. You are not going yes, to get wet. Yes. <laughs> yes, sure. Yes. Yeah, sometimes when we are like, well, in public transportation, it's a little bit more complex, but mm, you know. That's normal. That's normal, I mean, it's, yes. Yeah, it's actually no big deal. Okay. okay. It, listen to this expression. Listen to this expression. It's not a deal. It means no es tan importante. Ah, uh, yes. It's not big deal. Yeah, it's not big deal. I mean, my case uh, is not big deal. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Walter, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see, Martha. Hello, Martha. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. And you? Just fine. Just fine. Here, you know, ready for the class. Same old story as usual. Actually, I, I'm I'm a little bit uh, a little bit sick. My throat is giving really? me problems. Yeah, my throat is giving small? me problems since yesterday. Actually, you know, I don't get the flu because I mean, it's for me, it's been like what four or five years without getting the flu. No me da gripe, not usually, but my problem mostly is my throat. I get I get problems with my throat, like pharyngitis, stuff like that. Because you know I'm speaking all day and the, the uh, switches on temperature, the certain switches weather. Are, yeah. It affects a little bit, but I get used to it. What about you? Tell me. I'm good, teacher. Mm, my day it was uh, very busy. Um you know many many things to do, but everything was okay. Okay, that's cool. And tell me what's the plan for the weekend? For the weekend, nothing special, teacher. Uh, the same story, I will go to supermarket, I will go to church, I will go 
um, maybe uh, the mall, uh, clean my house. Same story, teacher. <laughs> Nothing well, special for, for this weekend. Actually, you're going to be what doing about a lot. You? Me, weekend. Let's see. Due to the fact that I'm a little bit sick, uh, I just cancel one of my classes for tomorrow because I teach uh, little kids. So uh, I won't go to teach that class. Let's see. So in the morning, that means that something weird. I will sleep until late. Then I'm going. Then let's see, I'm going to, to fix up some stuff. I need to, I need to arm a big lamp with many, many, many things. A ceiling lamp, light. Okay. okay. So it's it's crystals. Good other word teacher. It's crystals. Actually, that's a favor that I'm doing to somebody, but it's crystal, so I need to be very delicate. Delic yeah okay. and if if i have time i will try to install it then let me see mm. i mean i'm going to have a little bit of free time i will check out some stuff at home perhaps um, i don't know cleaning the cistern then let's see what else that's saturday then i got a meeting then i gotta work i need to update all my grading system that's Saturday, Sunday, let's see. Wow, that's weird. I don't have nothing for Sunday. Man, that, oh no. I'm ex I'm you waiting. You need the dress, teacher. I'm waiting. Actually, I'm waiting for a student to confirm if I'm going to test her for uh she wants me to prepare her for TOEFL. Um. For TOEFL exam. So I need to test her to check out her label and see where I should start working with her. So, I mean, it's no big deal because actually I have another student that I've been training for TOEFL. So, I mean, I got the material and I got everything. So it's not like quite complex. And I also need to prepare some material because I have one student that perhaps tomorrow night we are going to have a small interview. I am preparing oh, okay. a student for an interview and. It's going to be interesting, but you know that the person. Next week. No, that's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow, actually. Well, yeah, ah. she's having the interview. I don't know when. Ah. But. But need prepare. Yeah. The interview. Yeah, but easy stuff. Nothing to worry about. Very busy for you, teacher, this week. No, actually, this weekend is going to be pretty light. What? <laughs> yeah. Teacher, please, do you need rest? A little rest. <laughs> yeah. And if I have time, I'll go over to my sister's. Oh. Yeah, I'll go visit my sister to see him. Every, Just to check every out. week? Well, they meet every weekend, but you know, I'm not that social with the family. Teacher, please. Remember, yeah. do you need uh, apology to your father for the forget the? That's another reason why I don't want to go. Teacher, do you remember? <laughs> uh, it's not that good. It's not that good. No, my my dad is my dad. In that case, I mean, with me, he's pretty cool. You know, he's pretty pretty cool in that sense. I mean. We are pretty serious to each other, but we are very polite. I mean, he's he's cool with me. I mean, I I mean I don't got I don't feel like uh, like pressure by him for anything, and that's good. He used to it. <laughs> yeah, you know we get along quite well. We are not like per pretty affected but we are not like too distant either we got an equilibrium there so that's nice well thank okay. you Marta. nice talking to you thank you teacher hey Janira hey teacher who's Janira. going 
here, here, you know. Janita, please lie to me. Tell me when you get in your new camera. <laughs> Play with uh, my maybe feelings, tomorrow, please. Maybe tomorrow or in, on Sunday, or maybe on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play with my feelings, Janita. That's bad. Yes, teacher. This weekend, I promise you. Okay, let's hope everything goes okay. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend, Janita? Well, I plan, I plan, I have planned to go to mass tomorrow on Ooh. morning. Uh, for the afternoon, I don't have plans. On Sunday, I plan I plan to to go to my to visit uh, my grandmother. And oh, really? So, yeah. How old is your grandma? Uh, ninety six. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> Is is a, a, a older older yeah, person? Yeah. yeah, she's an elder. Yeah. She's an elder person. El elder person. Yes. You say it like this, look. How, she how do you write? Is an elder. Oh, okay. Ninety-six. What does wow. mean a a a a big person? Talking well, about age. Politely, politely, we say, este, ya está grande, decimos. Amablemente. Ah, ok. Yeah. Estamos hablando ya de anciano. Ok, ok. She's an elder person. Wow, that's nice. That's nice yeah. that, you, that you can still enjoy your grandma. That's cool. Yeah. What's her name? Maybe uh, Teresita de Jesús. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this, this, this is her name, Teresita. Oh, really? It's, it's, yeah, it's not Teresa, it's Teresita. Hey, that's nice. And she's from yeah. Suchipoto, you said. She's the one no, from Suchipoto? Is, no, uh, this is my grandmother from, from my mom. but From my uh, mother's side, from my mom's side. Ah, okay, okay, from my mother's side uh, in Suchitoto. But uh, I talk about my mother, my grandmother, by my father's side. On my, on my father's on, side. On, on my father's side. She's from uh, Usulután. Oh, really? Yeah. Where, where in Usulután? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Janira, I mean, you <laughs> I, could expect that from me, not from you. <laughs> I don't visit uh, my family in this place because when she was young, he, he come to San Salvador with my, my grandfather. He, uh -huh. he was from, from San Miguel. Oh. Then they come to, to San Salvador when he was when he was young. Then I I I don't visit. Maybe I visit uh, San Miguel one time. When I visited. I visited when I was child. Maybe Ooh, nine yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a long while ago. Yeah, yeah, it's a long time. I know, I know. Okay, that's nice. Wow, you got relatives all around. And I don't like uh, San Miguel because it's very hot. Well, you should go to Santa Rosa. That's uh, hell. Uh, some some aunt out uh, yeah. live near to to uh, stadium, and uh, and. I remember that this day I took seven or eight shower because the head, the heat, 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 because the heat was horrible, teacher. Yeah, I know. I, I can, know. I can sleep. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep. I, 
I couldn't sleep. Yeah, then I, uh, I, I never, I never come back again to, to San Miguel. <laughs> I never went back again to San Miguel. I never went back to yes. San Miguel. Yeah, no, I don't like it really. Okay, Suchitoto is is head, but no like San Miguel. Oh yes, Suchitoto is hot, but not that much. I mean, it's it's something acceptable. Yeah, it's we can acceptable. deal with that. Yeah, but San Miguel is wow. It's Ooh, yeah a whole different story. Oh, that's nice. So you're gonna be busy this weekend. Really? You are going to be busy this weekend. Ah, uh, me? No, I talk about my grandmother by my on my father's side. Yeah. I, okay, I visited my see. my grandmother on my father's side. Okay. By the way, you she said a word here. a very you say that word that is very interesting. You said mass, you know. If you listen to an older person, a pretty old person in English, perhaps you could hear somebody saying mayas. 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 Yeah. Old, people, old people don't say mass. All pretty old people, they say mayas. Before they used to pronounce it like mayas. that. Mayas. Mayas, yes. Okay, mayas. How do yeah, you write, teacher? I, it's the same word. Oh, yes, but, but the uh, pronunciation yes. is different. Yes, before, I mean, people used to used to pronounce it mayas. With the pass of time, the new generation, they used, they got to use mass. Ah, okay, okay, mayas but in the beginning, or mass. okay. Yeah, if you listen, perhaps an older person, they are going to say mayas, but I'm talking about somebody old, pretty old, like your grandma. And oh, I tell okay, you because- no, I, I don't talk. <laughs> and I'm telling you because uh, once I was working with a, uh, I was working a lot with a nun. I was working with a nun, monja. Oh, okay. And she was, she was pretty old and she was an American. She was an American nun. So I was working with her a lot for like two or three years. Yeah, three years maybe. And uh she explained it to me that word okay okay oh, nice. may yes. yeah may yes. thank you janina okay. welcome thank you teacher let's see let's see let's see let's see hey jose how are you mr osorio Perhaps not available. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Roxana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. It was a wonderful day for me. I think so. <laughs> okay. Tell me why. I call advance in all the cases pending. Because when I am in closing, I full closing, just uh, check uh, everything about that, but I couldn't uh, solve another uh, cases in the email or meetings, for example. But today I, I could advance okay. and I think that it was a good day. Okay, fine. Tell me what's the plan for the weekend. Um, to start off tomorrow, I need to work since uh, seven a.m. to uh, until eleven a.m. and then uh, maybe I take the lunch in my house and maybe I don't know. It's not confirmed. Um, I take some dessert with my best best friend after the lunch okay but if it's like a um, tentativo how do you say tentativo Hold on. 
second. First of all, uh, you we have to say, uh, I'll have lunch at home, okay? I'll have lunch at home. Okay. And tentative, that's tentative. Okay, tentative. Maybe in the afternoon, I will see to my best friend, but it's tentative. And for Sunday, I am waking up around 9 a.m., I think so. And I need to uh, wash, I need to do the laundry by myself, myself, because my wash machine is damaged. So I my have- wash, mach Washer machine. Washer machine is damaged. So I have uh, a lot of- uh, Okay, Jen. Okay, clothes. Roxana, what did you do to your washing machine? Mm, no, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> How come it's damaged? It's broke down. No, I think that the problem was uh, is sorry. The problem is that uh, in the past I put a lot of clothes, clothes, clothes in the, um, in the in the in the washing washing machine, and maybe it I don't know. It's a little window. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. That's Over, bad. Overload. That's, so yeah, sobrecarga. Yeah, yes. That's it. I think that it is, is the problem. This is the problem. So uh, the the technician person tell us that uh, he need to he needs to uh, change a uh, packaging and packets. Okay. No, those. Packaging. No, 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 no. Okay, we are talking about something different. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh. It's not packaging. We are talking about um, how do we call that? There's a word for that in English. Hold on. Uh, uh, man, it just slipped my mind. It's not rings. Packing. Embalage. Mm. Yes, no, but she's not talking about that. She's talking about uh, a technical word. Estamos hablando de empaques. Sealant. Sealant. Yeah. Sealant is one term, but there's another one. Hay otro termo. I will try to remember. Okay. Okay. So I think that it's better um, buy another mach uh, washer machine because uh, the cost now is around $2,000 for fix. Okay. But for tomorrow- 2000 or 200 200 sorry. 200. Okay. Rubber so, teacher. Yeah, rubber packing. Yeah, it could be rubber packing. Poor Roxana teacher. Yeah, <laughs> that's rubber packing. Or if if the if the if the sealant is done with uh, with uh, a paste is gasket. Si es hecho con como con silicón es un gasket si es ya de 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 hule es un rubber packing yes thank you rubber packing okay okay rubber packing so two hundred dollars wow yeah. so I prefer uh, save some money and buy another new washer machine and look oh. for uh, one that uh, I can get a lot of uh, yeah, overlap Over to have money, money teacher. No, I yeah. don't know, but I need a washer machine because yeah. I hate, <laughs> I hate washing, washing by hand by myself. Yeah. I don't have time a lot and 
I need time by myself too. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, this is my my weekend. Thank Maybe you very much, a, I will yes, look for one on the Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Right. On Sunday. And that's it. Well, thank you. Let's hope everything goes fine for you. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Amarilia Gomez, please say present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Welcome back. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Here. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Thank you. So, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. She's connecting. Eh, Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Thank you. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you. Appreciate it. So let's continue. Let's continue. Today we have time. We are going, well, actually today we are going to work with schedules. Uh, if you remember, I told you to look it up in the manual. It's interesting, right? It's a big schedule, the one that appears there. And we are going to talk a little bit about that. We are going to do some speaking practices. And let me see what else. Oh, for next week, next week, guys, it's going to be interesting. On Monday, we're going to talk about superlatives, which is cool. And Tuesday, we are going to talk about um, also grammar. We are going to be talking about, let me see, uh, models with present perfect. It's also a very interesting topic. So it's going to be, I mean, we are getting to the, to the, to the good part, to the nice part. And besides that, we are always going to have the speaking practice. So we're gonna have fun, okay? It's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Okie dokie, let's see, before we move on, antes que continuemos, let me get something straight out with you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you remember that we have a big homework, right? And as we got a big homework, I need to start assigning the order of the activities. So let me just check on the calendar. Uh, today we are the, the 10th, right? So 13th because we are going to be finishing the course the 22nd. Okay, let's see. For the 13th, the final homework, let's see.
Okay, that's fine. For the 13, the final homework, Fernando, you are going to start. You're going to be the first, okay? Okay. Uh, what day, teacher? I'm sorry? The what 13th. Day? The 14th. Monday, the 13th. Next Monday. Next lunes. Monday. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, it's going to be you. It's going to be Daniel. And okay. it's and it's going to be Marta. Okay, now, teacher. The fourteenth next Tuesday goes Susana. Hello, teacher. Se va para el día martes. Shanira and okay, Nestor. Teacher. The 15th, next Wednesday, próximo miércoles. The 15th goes Gen C. Maria Alejandra. And Francisco. Is the chair? 15. Yeah, the 15. Okay, the the 16 next Thursday, el jueves, Ambar. Okay. I have a question. Yes. The Wednesday is a holiday day. Holiday. Have a class. Let me see. Let 15. me just check on something. Let me just check on something. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yes. I work yes, back. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, you are right. We are going to finish the 23rd. Tiene razón. Vamos a, vamos a correr una fecha. Lo que le dije el 15, Jensi, María Alejandra, and Francisco is the 16th. Okay. So, Amber, in your case, is the 17th. That's Friday. Okay, Amber? Okay. And Wilfredo? The 17th. And Fabiola? Now, the 20th. El 20. Mr. Osorio. Carlos Murillo. En María Luisa. Twenty first. William when it first goes William goes Walter and goes Roxana And the twenty second goes. Let's see who's missing. Marcela, Claudia, Nicolas, and I am missing one. Sí que me falta alguien. Who's that? Let me just check on something, guys. And Sylvia. Okay, now, uh, for the 23rd, that is the last day of class, I have not assigned nobody. 
because sometimes I mean we have problems with connections or the weather or perhaps your job. So that way there's no excuse. If you couldn't do it your own day, you're going to do it the last day of class, okay? So that way everybody participates. Okay, remember it's a small presentation. You got two minutes to talk about any topic you want. Okay. So it's going to be good. I'm sorry, guys. Let's continue. Let's see. Hello, Jensi. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, um... Jensi. <laughs> Talk to me, Jensi. You weren't here yesterday. What happened to you? We have to, no, we got out late at four. We were on um, inventory, inventory, and we visited a client uh, because Marcela uh, didn't connect yesterday. Oh. So uh, we were, she was in Santa Tecla, I think. We were doing inventory. Oh, inventory is the correct pronunciation. Yes, we were doing inventory. Um, inventory, uh, but we were at separate. Uh, she was in Santa Tecla and I were in San Martin, I think. I don't know where I went, where, where right. I was, but yeah. Oh, San Martin, you were close to my house then. I live in San Martin. Yes, but uh, we um, always are in an office. An office activity. Uh, we are always sit, and when we we are, when we do this kind of activity, we arrive so tired at home because it's all the day. All the day we have to stand up. To be standing up. To be standing up. Okay, what's the so, plan for tomorrow? Tell me. Um, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Um, uh, I, I'm going to visit a friend. Um, uh, I haven't seen him for two or three years. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Where, where are you going to go? I'm going to go, I'm going to go La Libertad, I think. No, 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 Santa Ana, Santa Ana. I confused <laughs> these two places, uh, but I'm going to uh, go to Santa Ana. I don't know what specific part because I only know San Salvador. <laughs> oh. um, um, but I'm going to go Santa Ana. Uh, if I lost there, I will... I will disappear because I, I, I don't I don't meet meet, meet anybody I there. Don't oh, I don't know. I don't I don't know. know. I don't know. Okay, listen, 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 listen. You cannot you say I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Can meet the I don't know I don't anybody know. there. I don't know anybody there. And at night, at night I have to go to them. To a movie theater because oh. uh, yes, uh, it's a movie that I don't like, but I have to go. Um, uh, guy, I don't know what's the name of the movie, but I have to see it. No, to watch it. Watch it. Okay, and what's the name of the movie? Chang. Chang I don't Shanghai. I don't know the name, but it's a Marvel movie. It's for mm. a hero. That's nice. Interesting. And Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. On, Sunday, on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday, sorry. On Sunday, I have to go to the gym because oh. on Sunday I go with my brother because we spend time. Uh, together doing exercise. That's nice. We we spend time together. 
You can say doing exercise or you can say exercising. Exercising. Because he is really fit, teacher. I, I don't, I know, I get tired quickly, but he can do exercise for many hours. He ha, has a good attitude with exercise. He spends around one or two hours per day doing exercise. I don't know, but he's only studying, and for that reason, I think yeah. he can do. <laughs> he can do exercise. Yeah, he, he got lots of energy. That's nice. I Thank guess. you very much, Jency. Welcome. Okay, Peter. Thank you. Let's see. Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Carlos, where are you? In your town? Yes, I am for you, a teacher. Okay, tell me, how's the weather? What's the temperature oh. there right now? Okay, the temperature at the moment, I don't know. Actually, it's uh, 19 degrees. Ooh, delicious. Yes. Uh, uh, I am, um, and the rainy mess is covered in that moment. In this moment, it is covered. Yeah. A little bit of wind and it gets cold. Yes, teacher. Un poquito de viento y se pone sabroso there. <laughs> uh, uh, out of my, my home, uh, outside, I, I think it's more, it's not fresh the 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 weather it's is cold it's, most, it's colder it's cold. it's, it's colder. colder yes that is my 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 home but uh inside uh, the weather is, is good oh yeah you know that's normal when we are inside we feel like a little bit cool but Man, early in the morning, la madrugada, it's going to be delicious. Yes, teacher. Uh, we have to, I don't know how do you say, how do you say, cobijarse, I don't know. Cover, say, cover. Okay, uh, we, we have to cover with the um, edredon teacher because the, okay. the weather is really, really cold. Yeah. yeah, I imagine, I imagine, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, I was living in Chiltipan for five years and I used to have a big and thick blanket because, <laughs> cause, I mean, because uh, 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 the weather when it was cold, man, it was really, really cold. Now, the word you were looking for, my friend, is this one, quilt, quilt, quilt. yeah, okay. quilt, that's edredon, quilt. Oh, quilt, okay, yep. it's, uh, um, but uh, the, uh, all day it's raining, Here okay, it's raining all day, it was raining. What? It's been, it's been, it's been. Yeah, you say it like this. You say it's been, it's been raining all day long. Remember, in this case, it's been actually means it has been. Okay. It has been. Okay. It has been raining. It's, it's been, been raining. Been. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I mean, the rain is creating problems in some areas. Yes, I, I feel the, the, the English corporative. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Yes. Yo dije igual igual que los estudiantes que no 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 iban a clase. Ajá. Yeah, yeah. No, 
that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. Okay. That's not the day of. Okay. No, actually, uh, in our case, it depends. It depends on, on INSAFOR because in some situations, INSAFOR has said, let's stop classes, we program again. The only problem not this late in the year is that remember that they are also trying to get uh, to fulfill goals. Ellos también están completando metas. They have programmed mm -hmm. certain classes. And for us to move dates, it's pretty complex. Y mover fecha es complicadito. Okay. Actually, even, even we as, as teachers, we don't, uh, it goes the same as your case. Uh, in your case, you as students, you know that there's no permissions, okay? okay. For you students, there's no permissions. For us teachers, there's not permissions either. Okay. I mean, it must be a big, big situation that allows for a permission given to a teacher. But remember that a permission for me means that we are going to postpone a class because yes. uh, they have registered me as your teacher. So nobody else can come and teach this class. No puede venir nadie a cubrir mi clase. I mean, you cannot be with another teacher. I have to, I started the course, I'm supposed to finish the course. Okay. So it's a little bit uh, complex, but no, my friend, we gotta stay. I mean, the good thing is that we are working online. So that allows us, for us to, to I mean, you are safe, you are at home and you can be in the class. The only problem perhaps is for some of you if the connection, because when it rains, connection is pretty bad right now. Actually, the computer is telling me that my my connection is sort of unstable. Okay. And I, and that that could happen to some of you too. Yes, and uh, yesterday, for example, uh, in my house, we we don't uh, have uh, internet connections. Um, for science or on team, uh, since uh, 3 p.m. and the, oh, the connection since, in, since, since. since 3 p.m. teacher, since 3 p.m. Uh, until today uh, was uh, reconnect the, the internet and television to teacher. Oh man, that's terrible. I mean, yes. I can stay without internet. I can I, accept that. But yes. TV, man. I mean, without <laughs> without uh, 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 without TV and and internet at the same time. Well, for me, for me, it's not a big problem. I mean, I got a bunch of books I can be reading, and I'm happy. <laughs> but here, the people in my house, man, they get crazy. Okay. Uh, and today, uh, we we have a cut of the water, too. Uh, <laughs> I, I say my wife, uh, we don't have internet, we don't have uh, television, we don't have water. Uh, we have to move <laughs> to Soyapa. <laughs> Yeah, that will have been <laughs> problematic for you. Yes, teacher, but actually it's uh, on service and it's, on, it's already back. function. Yes, yes, I are, come back. Are back, are com are are back, back um, already. Are, uh, yes, I, I read. Um, I stay good, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Hey, <laughs> Carlos, thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine. Oh, these days are not good for business, right? Uh, no, uh, because the raining made uh, a little difficult all the stuff yeah i can the imagine traffic I, and everything. yeah and you can just work indoors 
uh, actually uh, the client say that uh, even we said that the best option will uh, will be change the roof she don't want it because uh, the house that she are uh, remodeling she is. She, is. she is remodeling is for the for his mom and she think that his mom she's mom her uh, mom probably don't her mom probably don't want to live in the house so she said well if uh, maybe in two years there are big problems. Uh, there will no problem. We will help. We will uh, fix it up in the future. But now okay. she wants the house to be uh, good looking, the fastest as we can. Okay, as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Let me text that. As fast as possible in this case as the first as means tan or tanto and the second one means como okay mm, tan okay. rápido yeah. como sea posible as fast as possible oh well interesting interesting that means that you gotta hurry up yeah um, but still, with this people, weather, there are some processes that you cannot do. Yeah, a lot of things because we have to uh, make some demolitions at the kitchen. Uh -huh. But with that weather, we can't. We have to make to some stuff at the garden, and we can't. Yeah, but of course, it's trying, not possible. Well, no. What else you gonna do? Uh, well, we are going to make some the water connection completely new because the existent, the actual. I don't know what the yeah the, yeah, the, the existent one, the existing one is. Uh, really really bad all the pipes are in over the floor over the floor Ooh. and you're gonna hide them yeah because and i kill como podría decir aparte de que están afuera del piso Besides the fact that they are on top of the floor. Besides the fact that they are in over on top of the floor, they come from the apartment that is in the same uh, property. But the apartment are used to uh, be alquilar. Rent for rent. rent. Yeah, yeah. So it's not independent. You are going to do it independent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bit. That's actually. Well, it's not that much a big of work. It's just that. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what do you think about it, that. But I have always thought a new one is faster and easier than a fixed one. Yeah, but because in when you that are fixing case, up, it, it's something like fixing fixing up because the new one have to be. under the floor uh, of the uh, house, so okay. the floor is already uh, built. So we have to make a cut to. Uh, enterrar, como se diría? Well, enterrar is bury. Put under the floor. In this case, it's put under the floor, Daniel. Yeah. To Six feet under. Put under the floor. 
Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, let's see. Okay, thank you very much, Daniel. Nice talking to you. We always get very technical. Okay, let's see. Where is Maria Alejandra? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm just fine. Just fine. Tell me what's the plan for the weekend? Uh, teacher, I don't have a plan for this weekend because um, today I have a test of COVID. Oh, really? Yes, a because test? Um, I don't know the prayer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I know, I know. Because the last week my mother uh, was positive and my uncle Ooh. and today my granny my cousin and me have a test uh, but took, I don't have a, thing. a test uh, cool a test took took a test but it's only prevention because all I have a contact. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And I don't have a plan for this situation because I the test I have an answer maybe two days or three. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope everything goes okay for you and your family, Maria Luisa. <gasps> Maria Luisa. I'm sorry, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> it's that I was watching Bill or Maria right now. Man, Let's hope I everything think... goes okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> and that means that you're going to stay home. You don't have to go out. No, I um, I don't go out. I, be, I don't be. Oh, and what about the boyfriend? The boyfriend... Did... How to take the test also? Um, no. Uh, this weekend, this weekend, I don't see my boyfriend. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see my boyfriend because he he have a a grandfather he is very older. Old is very old. He's very old and. I don't know. Uh, uh, is for prevention. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh huh. But course. I don't see anything. I don't go out. But yeah. um, I have a many. Is it noticias? News. <laughs> a news because um, in few in many days, uh, I have my car. <laughs> oh, in a few days. In a few, few days. Uh -huh. Oh, really? That's cool. It's finally Excellent. this week. Um, my car arrived, and yesterday, get out. Lo logramos sacar? I don't know. Oh, really? You take? Uh -huh. You took it out from customs? Uh, uh huh. Okay, we uh, we took it out of customs. We took it out from from uh, customs. From customs and that the grua <laughs> tall. A uh, tall uh, come came to taller. El taller. I don't know. Garage. Ah, uh, the garage. And maybe the repairing, la reparación. I don't know. The fixing up, the repairing. Ah, uh, the repairing is no, is no big. Want, no big. Okay. Won't take long. Maybe uh, the repairing won't take long. Uh -huh. 
won't take long and I happy. I feel very happy because I have maybe six months in, without a car. Uh huh, and it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All long. Let's see, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Oh, hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Well, here, you know, same old story as usual. And tell me, how was your day? Um, I, I have a, I had a relaxed day for the weather and the sales, but a good day for me. Oh, really? That's nice. And tell me, what about the weekend? Well, uh, I don't have any plans because I I think to enjoy the weather and uh, maybe I will watch some movie on Netflix, but I don't any plan. Only well, I don't have. I don't have any plan, something okay. special, but only take a nap and maybe I order delivery, I don't know. Okay, so you're going to be like calm, relax at home. Exactly. The weather, uh, how do you say, el clima lo merita? Okay, the weather deserves it. Deserves. The weather deserves it. Yeah, of course. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, it's cool that you have the opportunity to be home, to enjoy being home. I mean, when it's hot, it's terrible. But when it's like cold, I mean, you get cozy. You get a sweater or perhaps a blanket. Yes, I, I I prefer the cold weather because the hot weather is how do you say insupportable? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like this unbearable. Unbearable is unbearable the hot weather. Yeah. The other way around, the other way around. The hot weather is unbearable. The hot weather is unbearable. Okay, okay. Well, nice, nice, nice talking to you, Amber. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. There. Hello, how are you? I am good, thank you. What about hey, you? Me, I'm just fine. Tell me, how's the weather right there where you live? And now it's raining very strong. Oh, really? Yes, Ooh. it was. It has been raining the whole evening from, well, all day, almost all day. Ooh, that's bad for business, right? Yes, that's bad. That's, so, the weekend is going to be bad for the hotel. Yeah. So tell me, are you at half perhaps or less, even less? I'm sorry, could you repeat? In the hotel, are you at half the capacity or even less? No, now we are full tonight. <laughs> Because the hotel only has 10 rooms, only has okay. 10 rooms. So tonight we were booked and the weekend is booked, but maybe we will have cancellations because of the yeah, weather. Of course. Yeah, yes, the restaurant is I, going to have loss. Yes, because in San Salvador, maybe it's raining, I think. Yeah, a lot. It's raining everywhere, yes. Yeah. More than here, I think. 
Well, actually, you know, according to the reports, uh, it was going to be stronger over there where you live. Yes. The coast area is, is going to be more affected. But we will see. We will see how it goes. Yes. And but, you gotta work um, Saturday and Sunday, the whole weekend. Yes, I have to work the whole week, the whole weekend. Friday and, what, and which schedule you got? Uh tomorrow, Saturday, I have the morning shift because today I did the evening shift. So tomorrow I'll have to open and I will finish okay. at 3 p.m. Okay. And on Sunday, I have the, the evening shift. Mm, closing. Closing, yeah. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. Well, that's the way it goes. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Well, hello to the rest of you. Uh, but we have to move on according to my plan. We got another activity. So let's see. Okay. We got the first activity is monitoring personal. Okay. In this activity, what you are going to do is you need to draw a line. Actually, it's a pairing. Okay. You're going to do a pairing. And you need to match the work, the concept with the explanation. Okay. So let me send you the image so you can work on it. We got their work schedule, we got break, we got shift, overtime, and call in. And we got a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week, to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. A chart that, that presents a list of employees, the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. The time of the day when a person works. Okay, guys, what are you going to do to solve that exercise? How you're going to do it? You're going to be working in groups. You're going to have just four minutes. It's enough for that exercise, okay? Because it's Pretty, pretty simple. Groups are created. Please jump in. Four minutes starting now. No, I I only see the picture because I in my cell phone. Sorry, Carlos. Okay. Teacher, which page is the exercise? I found page. 26. Page 26. Page no okay, 26. Okay. Work schedule. Chance of Schedule, schedule, schedule. Chat. There is screen, please, teacher. I like the first. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. <clears throat> can you see, Susan? Yeah. But. Uh, number number 
when you go more than the regular working hours day and week or week. But, 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 but. Uh, Fernando and the auction and the answer and over time. For me, that's okay. For me, it's over time. Are you, are you yeah. already, Susan? To telephone your workplace, uh, your work workplace to let to them. It's not that you are going to ask them for late. Um, call, call in, call yes. in. For me, mm -hmm. I, I, that's fine. Yes, I agree. Call in. Call in. Okay. Next. Next is yes is already is respond already was schedule right yes okay okay <laughs> and, and the last and the one next? Walter it's yours okay okay then we uh, tie all the day one person was I did and tip shift right. By chief. Esa depende del. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it we on. finished. Okay, perfect. We... Yes. We're almost done in 60 seconds. We finished. Okay. 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 But you can talk among yourself, no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You finished, Marta? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay, guys, you can talk. Let's see, Marta, let me introduce you. This is Daniel. Daniel, this is Marta. We're yeah. almost done. Yeah. Right, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just let me check another group, and I think we are done. Uh, hi, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. We finished. We finished. Yeah, but you can... You can be talking, no problem. As long as ah, it is in English, as long as it is in English. It's very difficult yeah. because we are talking about the specific, specific uh, topics, technical oh, really? topics. <laughs> uh, don't believe her, Jensi. She doesn't work. She doesn't do anything <laughs> at all, all day long. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. Nice. Yeah, I know. I enjoy it. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody to come back in a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and everybody's here. See? Yeah, everybody's here. Hey guys, did I get the second attendance? No, teacher. Oh. Okay, let's do it. I'm no. so sorry. So sorry, so sorry. My bad, my bad. Let's do it. Okay, let's see. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Here. 
Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. <coughs> Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you, Nicolás. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita. Uh, Francis Nuila. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. And I'm sorry. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Okay, just let me check on something. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Here we go. We got the exercise here. Let's see. It says draw a line from the word to its correct definition. Okay, I will say the word and you're going to tell me the I will say the concept and you will tell me the definition so I can draw the line. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Janira. I will, Janira, you got the easy one. It's already done. It's work schedule. Please read the text. The schedule. Work schedule is a chart that. Yes. Uh, present a list of employees, the days of the week and time of the day they are required to work. Okay, perfect. Just remember employees. Employees. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Susana, you got break. Oops, I think Susana's not here with me. Marta, you got break. Okay, break. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Thank you very much. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Excellent. Now let's see uh, uh, Francisco, Eduardo, shift. Okay, teacher. I, the time of the day when a person works. The time of the day when a person works. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Nestor, you got overtime. Okay, teacher, overtime. When you work more than a regular working hours in a day or week. Okay, excellent. Just remember, regular, regular. Regular. Okay. And let's see. Um, Bart, you got call in. 
call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Okay, perfect. Now here is very something very important. When you say uh, call in, actually you say I'm going to call in sick. Okay, you call in sick or you call in late. That expression means uh, reportarse, okay, to call in. Call in sick or call in late means exactly that. Uh, when you call to let them know that you're going to be late or that you are going to be absent. Very well done, guys. Now, next exercise. In the next exercise, let me just get clear of this. And let's get rid of this. The next exercise, you got a schedule. You have to look at the schedule and answer the questions below. Remember, there's a schedule. You got Laura, Thomas, Sofia, Carlos. And let's see, you got Tuesday, September the 5th, Wednesday, September the 6th, Thursday, September the 7th, Friday, Saturday. You see, you got their obligations, their assignments, and the time, the period of time that the assignment is going to cover, and also the break times, okay? You got kitchen manager, you got dishwashing, you got the day off, uh, there's somebody who's going to be on vacation, and actually it's the bartender, Sophie is the bartender, and Carlos is going to be on training one day, you see the schedule here, then he's going to be working as a server. You got to answer these questions. Who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? Where is the dishwasher's day off? How long is Thomas break? Okay. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? When is Carlos on training? What is his schedule on Fridays? Okay, you are going to answer these questions and I want, please, long answers okay i mean not just telling me the day or the name of the person for the answer i need long long answers because remember these are wh questions so they are asking for information now you are going to do this activity let me send you to your groups please Jump in, you're going to have five minutes for this activity. Off. His day, his day off is on Wednesday, September sixth. Yes. Uh, how long is Thomas break? Thomas, very 30 long. minutes. 30, 30. Okay, I am in 26. Yes. Um, oh, he is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays. Let's no, de verdad, Thursday. que yo les decía que no veo inglés hace seis años, cinco años. Eh, I think is a kitchen manager. 
Manager. Manager. Manager. Okay, teacher. Um, I think. What do you think, uh, Nicolas? Who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? You think purchase? Who is charge? Um, I don't understand. Mm, a cargo. Ah, yes. okay. Uh, well, uh, my, in 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 my house. It's Wednesday. This was your day off. His day off is in Wednesday, September sixth. Right, right. Wednesday. Wednesday. September. The six. Six. Teacher, is September yes. six or September the six? Well, it depends. If you, if you are talking with me, it's, if I'm telling you, it's six, September the 6th. But that's because I'm old man. And I learn from old people. Nowadays, people say September 6th. September 6th, without but, day. Yeah, but in my case, I will always say, oh, Wednesday, se September the 6th. September the 6th. Why, because why is the reason? Why is the reason? Young the people, six. young what people, sentence? young people killing languages, you know that? Uh, okay. Generaciones matando los lenguajes. Yeah. Okay. The, the, um, uh, I, the honestly, most formal, I, the most formal is Wednesday, September the 6th. And okay. actually you never, you never wrote the word that. Nunca se escribió. But you were supposed to say it all the time. It's actually it's more formal. It's pretty formal English. Uh, it's the first time that I I heard I heard in the in that form the sixth or the seven. Yeah. It's oh. because as actually I learned, you know, the problem is this the first person who taught me how to say that was well, actually, he died already. Was a Scottish guy. Fue un escocés. He was my one of my English teachers. It's, it's and, for me. and he he told me how to say that. So all the time I got used to saying that September the sixth. September the sixth. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, uh, Marta, when is the dishwasher's days off? The day off for Thomas is Wednesday, September 6th. Okay, she killed the language. <laughs> yeah, she's killing the language. Shame on you, Marta. Sorry, but this is the actual <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, Fernando, Sim these practice. youngsters, estos jóvenes de hoy. In my case, no young, but <laughs> I could think answer. <laughs> ah, that's okay, that's okay. I mean, as I tell you, you will still hear people saying September the 6th. And you will hear a lot of people just saying September 6th. Okay. Wednesday. Wednesday, September 6th is a uh, Thomas. Yeah. And three, the answer. three, how long is Thomas break? And 
cuánto tiempo eh, lo toma de té de té seis seis y tres tomas break y es two hours ¿verdad? two hours two hours Huh? Three minute breaks in the break. No, it's a Thomas. No, Thomas is a break. Teacher, this this question number three <laughs> is about all weekend or one day. Number three, how long is Thomas break? Thomas break, it's 30 minutes break. Break every day. Yeah, his break is of 30 minutes every day. Uh -huh. Every day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is Sophia Joe? Sophia's Joe in the restaurant? Sofia, bartender. Yes. Uh -huh. she, she is her, the bartender. When in her vacation, on vacation, Friday, September. September 8th. When is Carlo on training? On training, Carlos is Thursday, September. Uh, what is what is a schedule on Friday? Uh, the Carlo. Silver. The schedule is eight uh, eight EM. All 6 p.m. With with one win what over break. He finish Nestor. Only that, only that, mm -hmm. and okay, I read, read the answer. And number one, uh, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday?
what are you doing, Janira? Well, I lost my connection and I lost my group teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't want to work, that's why. Don't worry, everybody's coming back right now. Let's see, let's just wait a few seconds. Okay, let's see, let's see, Roxana, tell me. Uh, Who's in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays? The person who is in charge of purchasing is Laura from Tuesday to Friday. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see, when is the dishwasher's day off? Um, that goes to, let's see, I'm sorry, just need to check on something. Amber. Okay, the... The Thomas day off is on Wednesday, September 6th. Okay, perfect. How long is Thomas break? Walter? Uh, uh, break uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. His break is 30 minutes long. Perfect, thank you. Now, next question. What is Sofia's job in the restaurant? Nicolas, what is Sofia's job in the restaurant? Sofia's jobs in the restaurant is bartender. Perfect. Thank you very much, Nicolas. Well done. Now, when is her vacation, Jensi? Uh, his her vacation is on Friday and Saturday. Okay, Daniel, tell me, when is Carlos on training? Sorry, teacher. When is Carlos on training? Carlos is on training on Tuesday. Okay, perfect. And what is, I'm sorry, what is his schedule on Fridays? That goes to Martha. His schedule is from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. with one hour break. One hour break. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's see. It's the exercise, no? Now, next exercise, guys. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be, who's gonna be, who's gonna be? Uh, I will send you to work in groups, but it's going to be pretty easy, like two, three minutes tops. What are you going to do? You're going to say this. Okay, you're going to ask your classmates, what is your schedule? Okay. And your classmate is going to answer something like, okay, I start working at 7 a.m. I have one break at 8.30, uh, 10 minutes break. I have another break at 9, no, at 10.30. And then I have lunch time from 11.15 to 12.30. And in the afternoon, I don't have break times. I finish working at 4.30 p.m. And then I get home. That's my daily schedule. That's what you're going to tell your classmate. Be concise, be specific. 
your starting time, your break times, your lunch break, your ending shift, okay? That's what I want you to do. You're going to have just three minutes for this activity, okay? Let's do it. Nesto, I'm sorry, I'll send you to another group, okay? Okay. Solo. Thank you. No problem, no problem. What is the sketching general? Okay, I start at a turn. Uh, I took a lunch uh, at noon to 1 p.m. and I finished well. Is esperado? How do you say, teacher? Expected. I expect to finish at 5.30, but this is not true. For example, just now I'm working. This is my schedule. I understand perfectly this situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this happened in this area. And you, okay. Marta, what is your schedule? Is your sketcher, Yanira? <laughs> it's the same. Okay. It's the same. Yes. The, the case, Fernando. <laughs> yes. I, Explain to me, okay. Marta. In my case, I start working at 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. My lunch is at noon to 1 p.m. Uh, I start again. 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. But uh, same the case the Yanira, uh, or work, not, not finish, get up. You know, it's, it's system. <laughs> the expectative is different to the so the reality. reality. The reality, the reality is different to the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. That happens a lot. Mm -hmm. in, in many in many places. Many yeah, at, at least we don't live in Japan. In Japan, I mean you got your schedule, but it's considered uh I mean a good employee is the one who stays who is always like half an hour before the time the check-in time, and who stays late. In Korea, it's, it's bad uh, a country for oh, living. Overtime. Yeah, because it's, it's the same history. I follow a YouTuber that she come from, from Korea, and she said that she is very happy living now in Mexico because the life is very different to Korea. In Korea, she lived only for when, when she was young, only for a study. And 
when she grew up, she lives only for working. Yeah. That's What's the way horrible. it goes. Let's go back. Okay, let's see, let's see. Jensi, tell me, what's your schedule like? My schedule, I get up at 5 a.m. I go to my work, to my work at uh, 6 a.m. I arrive around from 6.30 to 7. It depends on traffic. I get, I, eat my breakfast at 7 a.m. I sometimes have a break for it. I snack at 10 a.m. I have, I eat my lunch at noon for an hour, uh, 12 to 1 p.m. I finish my work at 4 p.m. or 4.30. And sometimes at or 30, I go to the gym and I arrive at home at 7, 7 30. And that's it. Okay, and I perfect. connect to my class at eight. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see now, Fabiola, it's your turn. Please tell me. I grab 5 a.m. I grab my word. Some day 7 a.m., another day 8 a.m. I have a lunch at 12 a.m. At I, noon. At noon. Uh, okay, at noon. I take a, a break three mm, p.m. I finish my work at 4 p.m. I arrive, arrive at my home um, 5 p.m. Yeah, only that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Susanas. Okay, Mr. Osorio, please. Your turn. Oops. Oops. I start to work oh, 50 a.m. And now? Yes, now I can. Okay. Uh, I start to work at 6.50 a.m. Okay. Then, then I have a 50 minutes break. It's a short time. And I take my lunch at 12.30. I don't have a break time in the afternoon. And I finish to work at 4.25 p.m. And I always like to work, and I arrive 20 minutes before I, uh, I mark the entrance and mark the my exit at 4.25, and I arrive at my house at 5.20, p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, mister. Thanks to now, you. Now, let's see. Nicolas, your turn. Tell me about your your schedule.
Hello, Nicolas, your microphone. Thank you, teacher. No Sorry. Uh, well, I get up at 4 a.m. every day. Uh, at 2, 6 a.m. I, I prepare the breakfast for my uh, for my wife and my sons. At okay. 7 a.m. At 7 a I, I, I work uh, to my work. Uh, of course, in Embas, um, I, I I I start my work at AIM, and twelve uh, twelve p.m. Uh, I take my 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 breakfast and uh, start. Uh, at 1 p.m. and finish finish it at 5 p.m. my work. If I return to it, return to my house at 6 6 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Walter. Tell okay. me what's your schedule like? Okay, in my case, uh, I'm starting working at 7 p.m. Yes. I, I had another break. Uh, my lunch and at noon, uh, 45 minutes, I have a lunch. Uh, and the finish working and four. 45 p.m. and return my house and 5 p.m. and 5 10 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Carlos, your turn. Okay, teacher, my my official schedule in my work is on. Um, I start at 7.30 a.m. and I take a lunch at 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. to 12 to 1 p.m. Um, I finish my work day at 4.30 p.m. Um, from Monday to Tuesday and um, on Friday. I work uh, from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Friday, I don't have a lunch time in my work, but I left my, my schedule at 1 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Very succinct. Oh my gosh, guys, it's time. Wow, time ran out on me. Okay. Thank you very much, all of you. Nice class. You were participating pretty good. Don't forget for Monday, Fernando, Daniel, and Marta, ready with your presentations. Any question, contact me, okay? No problem. I'll be <laughs> available for you guys the weekend, okay? okay. No problem at all. You. If you need help with the pronunciation, you send me an audio, you send me the text. I can help you out with that also, okay? Thank okay. you. Thank you. Hey, guys. Too. It was a pleasure. Oh, before that, my gosh, attendance, attendance. final attendance. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm Barely Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos, not here. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, present teacher. Marby, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present and good night. The same to you, my friend. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. 
Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Fineda. Susana Beat Thank you, Silvia. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Gracias, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much, all of you. Have a good night. Don't forget to work in the platform. Bye bye. See you Monday. Bye bye, everybody. See you Monday, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hello, Miss. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, Hi, but I'm fine. Have you been practicing? Nah, just the class. Mm, a little. Just uh, check, watching some videos on YouTube and okay. doing uh, some uh, points, but I don't really. Uh, do the structure about my okay. CV. Okay, well, uh, hmm. Estoy yeah, en eso, like... de hecho, aquí tengo, aquí tengo los apuntes. Yes, yes. I don't know if if you agree and if you allow me, uh, we could go over your CV one of these days. Okay. That way I could like uh, focus more on what to ask and how to to help you okay okay if it's possible if not i understand don't worry don't worry about that we can approach it in a different way but uh, we need to check out that you still don't have a uh, an appointed day for the interview do you do you have a day no 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 no, no 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 yet okay yeah, because when we get that, we are going to run. The idea mm -hmm. is to always be prepared. And if not, it's still good to prepare. I mean, extra practice is never bad. And you know, um, the good thing is that practicing helps you get, get better. I mean, the more you practice, the more the answers are going to become a simple reflex. And that's actually the goal of practicing. The goal of practicing is that, that, that your answers are just a reflex. Like uh, simple questions like, what's your name? Your mind already tells you in English, oh, my name is, right? It's, it's a reflex. So the more you practice, it's going to become faster for you. And it's going to lower down your nerves and your anxiety. Because I mean, Usually in those situations, it's quite normal to feel anxious. But the more prepared you are, the less anxious you'll be. Yes. So uh, let's see um, something else that I would like to check with you. Uh, your grammar, we need to focus a lot on your grammar. Okay, remember that you got the option. You can work in your grammar, work in the platform. Okay, in the platform you got uh, in the English Corporativo platform, you got grammar explanation. Do you remember where to get it? ¿Se acuerdan de encontrarlo? No. No. Let's see, let's see. Let me know when you can see my screen. You can see it now? Borroso teacher. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, now I can see. Okay, you come down here to where it says Centro de Ayuda. Okay. And Borroso, Roxana, is blurry, blurry. Blurry. Yeah, B-L-U-R-R-Y, blurry. Okay. blurry. Okay. You come here to Centro de Ayuda and it opens this. You come all the way down and you get 
academic resources. You see it? Okay, yes. You got grammar. And in grammar, you got, you see, basic, intermediate, advanced grammar presentation. Here also you can find vocabulary, pronunciation. Look, in vocabulary. Oh, let's see vocabulary. Let's see, types of housing, medical, the library, job occupations, work activities, the office. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of vocabulary here that can be useful for you. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I mean, that's, those are files that you can access anytime you want. You got the access to English Corporativo platform, you can access there. And it's nice because there's a lot of information that could, <clears throat> sorry, that could be helpful for you. Okay. okay, let's see. And how much time do you have? Pray, like you can, you could relax during the day or at night. At night, mm, on weekend. No, every day. At night. Can you can you spare like five or ten minutes for doing exercises? Yes, I can. For okay. Me, so. Next week, then I will start leaving you some extra exercises. Okay. Okay. Uh, mostly we are going to focus on listening exercises. So you can get used to listen to other people speaking in fluent English. Okay. That's going to help you. I will be sending you the material. It's going to be easy and interesting for you. And it's also going to be a good opportunity for you to, to practice more. And as I tell you, it's very important that you get used to listen different accents. Yes. Nor just mine and nor just your classmates. Because even though your classmates, some of them are pretty good, but it's, it's not the same. It's never the same. And you need to be used to to get to understand whoever, no matter who's speaking around you, okay? We never get everything, but I mean, you start like understanding and listening to people and you know, first you recognize the language and then you start like recognizing what they are saying. And in order to do that, you need to practice more. So I will be helping you in that. And for the moment, that will be all, okay? Perhaps okay. uh, we'll, we'll keep on touch tomorrow to see what, what else we can do, if that's okay with you. Yeah, for me, it's okay, teacher. Okay, perfect, my dear. Go to sleep. Sleep, then go home to my patch, teacher. Go to sleep, go to sleep. I try to um, do my resume, resume in English tomorrow. Okay, yeah. And I was. I will uh, send you in Spanish and English to check. Okay, my resume. Resume, resume. Yeah. It's a French word, resume. Resume, okay. Hey, you get the French fast. Resume. Resume, yeah. resume. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Mañana Thank se you. me va a olvidar. <laughs> that happens, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, Roxana. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Take care. Take care.
Okay, time's up. See you Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.